stall, acceleration, multiplying torque to full coupling. Bam! Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. This is a good illustration of how a torque converter works. Now what's going on with a torque converter? It's actually multiplying torque from the engine through the transmission out to the wheels. And this fan's a great illustration. And what's happening here is this is actually would be bolted to the engine. So this is spinning at engine speed. When I'm at idle, well, it's stalled. This hen's not moving. I'll show you that in a minute. Then what happens when you take off, we start multiplying torque and then eventually it gets up to coupling phase. Not totally, and I'll show you that as well. What's going on inside that torque converter? Well, you can see it right here. It all starts at the front cover, goes through a clutch, a turbine, a stator, and an impeller. Better yet, I got one right here. Here's the actual cover here that's bolted to the flywheel. So this is spinning. And then this is a lockup converter. So this would actually lock up and give you that direct drive one-to-one -one after it's done multiplying all the torque and you just need speed. That's gonna do that for you. Now what's happening here is the first piece right here. This is the turbine. And if you look inside the turbine, you have these fins. And these fins either rotate the fluid, either vortex or it goes through rotary flow. And that's gonna multiply torque. It's gonna hit this stator and the stator then reads directs the fluid. This is a one-way clutch. It locks up in one direction and it freewheels in the other, directs the fluid over to the impeller, and bam, back around we go from the stator to the impeller. But man, that fluid has to change directions and people don't realize that fluid line, that's what's multiplying torque, period. Right, the fluid's actually doing the job here and it gets a ton of pressure and it creates a bunch of heat. Anytime we force the fluid to change directions that quickly, the internal friction in that fluid generates heat. So what you see, if you actually were to put a temp gauge on the converter out, it's flashing. So you can flash up to 300 degrees when you leave a stoplight hard and the fluid has to be able to take that heat. If it can't, you get oxidation. And what oxidation is, is the oil actually breaking down and you can stain this all up. And if you get depositing or staining on any of these impeller parts or all those intricate pieces you talked about, it can degrade the performance. And that is not what we want. Now the lockup is either have a clutch material here. I still have some friction going on on that one-to-one -one drive after the fluid did its job. Yeah, but we can't get there without the fluid, right? So the fluid's gonna get you from stopped to highway speed, and all of that pressure has to go through it. So it's critical that you pay attention to your, the proper application of the fluid, and then our end of it, building the fluid, which we take great pains to do it properly. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how much beating and abuse the fluid has to take. We just saw it inside of the torque converter. Why not use the best fluid you can to protect your valuable investment? 